There's some more career mode. Oh, that's really good that I started, isn't it? Or it's a stream that will become a video, so fuck it. Um, yeah. I started. Who gives a shit? In the last episode, well, in fact, in Australia, we uh, purchased this major weight reduction upgrade. It's gone through. Happy days. Also, just to be absolutely clear, um, weight distribution that little that that's not what you want I'm pretty I'm pretty certain you want more weight in the center instead of outwards you know like you'd rather have more weight in the middle than an even distribution across the board either way um, that went through and obviously you know this one came through as well uh, what we genuinely did in the last episode was purchase that. Fingers crossed that'll come in for Baku. Worst case scenario, we have it for Spain. Uh, I need 92 more points. No, I need 122 more points. Because it goes up in price by 30 each time. To get that in time for Spain, assuming it goes through, and then when in Baku, I'll also buy that one which will arrive you know, perfect timing for Spain as well, which should balance the car out perfectly too. It'll, uh, it'll give us an opportunity, not necessarily there, but if we wanted to, we could go for a major drag reduction upgrade. That would be that would be a pretty big one, I think. Um, similarly, you know, we've got we've got plenty of weight redistribution upgrades that I'd quite like to do. Tire wear as well, we shouldn't neglect, and um, engine power. You know, in terms of realism, I'd like I'd quite like to have you know, some sort of upgrade in time for Canada because that's generally when they uh, when they come into place anyway yeah, Alfa Romeo and Ferrari very, very close performance Alfa Romeo is more chassis, Ferrari is more downforce that's the only difference um, some stuff from Jeff on to qualifying we didn't quite max out the performance, not the performance, the R&D points, the resource points from practice. I've actually been struggling a little bit with the practice programs here. So we only just passed the qualifying one. I needed two attempts for the ERS. Um, yeah, it was just a bit bit difficult if I'm honest. Welcome to Shanghai China for what I've no doubt is going to be a fantastic F1 qualifying session. Looking at this field today Anthony do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance maybe run the hard tires and save some of the grippier uh, no, tires to fair, for the we, race tomorrow. We've got upgrades for well, this race we're going to have upgrades in Baku we're going to have upgrades in Spain. the front runners that really have the pace to get away with that. And so even we'll then, at the end of the day, where it's our a performance big risk. lies in track position is the most important one, thing. Two, three and it's rarely worth time. sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race. So I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it. And then again it. at Canada, where we'll hopefully have, have an engine upgrade. I have been wrong before, though. We Bring certainly some do see some risky decisions every now and then. Austria, and it's a Austria, gamble perhaps. that's sometimes worth taking. But if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. It'll, uh, it'll be interesting to see what else opens up because I'm not sure if we can quite see the whole R&D for all of them. I think session. the chassis like, so literally is just, uh, is literally just brakes that are left. But uh, hey hey. So that's, oh, good thing I spotted that. Fuel, wings, I've gone for 4-4, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll want some more, I don't, oh, I don't know. I'll just check again, tyres, uh, first set, happy days. Flying lap. That, that was a good corner. 
if I can have something similar on the fly map. I don't even know about that. Shit house. Well, that's a really good start, isn't it? Basically, I want black good enough, just just good enough to see me through. Maybe more downforce. So like five five. Does that sound good? Five five. So you think how much time I lost with that sector. So Gaz has been up Flying this year. Maybe he's got used to have some stuff as a teammate. Eighth out of fourteen, not great. I'm gonna put five five wings on as well, just to grip a bit more. Oh, fuck. Well, that's shit, isn't it? Our best lap oh. so far is a 1 minute So cutoff is 1.9, I'm safe. I'm not going out again. Told you I was safe. Lando doing bits. Lando doing absolute bits. So a 32 8, I can massively improve on that. I really want to go to Zandvoort next year. However, I'm going to have exams, and so are the lads I'm going with. So. It's going to have to be Monza. I'm, I'm going to have to take one for the team and go to Monza. Oh.
Ein I can always get really bad traction up there. This lap does feel like a lot better. I'm gonna break a bit later there. I, I honestly don't care. Catch Rose is back. Bad lap. I'm happy. Ooh, We're sixth so in happy. the speed trap, 209.4 miles per hour. So, I'm six tenths up on Devon Butler. Six, I'm six tenths up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is, it's still six tenths. Oh, and I looked at the 32.9 and I was like, whoa, it's down to nine from a point one, but it was never that. Um, basically, I'm not going to do another lap. If I get knocked out, I get the optimum strategy. If I get through, I get high grid position. I can't lose. Oh, wow. Tenth. So, you could say I either did that perfectly, or you could say if I was one position lower, then I've done it perfectly. Oh, wow. But Vettel's out. Both of the Alfa Romeos are out. Uh, Devin Butler did well to get this far, as did Albon. Any surprises? Yeah, surprise. Lucas Weber in the top ten. Wow. Knocking out Vettel and both of the Alfa Romeos, all of which are in superior cars. Unbelievable, Jeff. Anyway, we're into Q3. We can do two laps. Yeah, I've got it back on 95 because I did some practice sessions on 97. It felt a bit... Ooh, maybe Australia is just an easy track or maybe I'm just a good driver. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, but no, this feels difficult. Bahrain felt difficult. Yeah. Still a no-go on the rear wing. So starting the race on that tyre. We've got these two. I'll be happy with the two stop, yeah. Long race as well, so no, no need to worry about that kind of strategy. So, I need to break later into this happen. Person. 
don't they, they need one prize money anyway. So, change onto the other tyre. Our best lap so far is a 132.4. Yes, sixth at the moment, which is actually pretty good. Danny Rick struggling. Pierre Gasly struggling after going top in Q1, was it? Charles Leclerc probably outperforming his Ferrari. We'll just we'll just see how high we can get. I'm not far off Lando, and he's very close to Charles. Go. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the first one to complete my lap, which is probably a bit dangerous, let's be honest. Pretty. I was I was doing too many things at once. Just do hot lap early. I'm like, oh my god, it doesn't matter. That's a game and a half. That's a fucking game and a half. That's seven. Ricardo's gone fast than that. But we've got three tenths at the moment. We've got three tenths in our pocket. Nice job. 
Space War, brother. Also interesting how it simulated the latch before We're all ready for tomorrow's finish. race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Hamilton, you, Bottas and Max Verstappen. With qualifying complete, and all that Verstappen remains is the main insane. event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. We, we will join you. Cheers, Crofty. Winning both rivalries, happy days. Show me the resource points. Not a bad sum. And uh, while we're here, all right. Yeah, I think we can call that a successful either. qualifying. We should be in with a I'll good chance in the thing. race. how far that will take us. Unbelievable. So that's that's pretty good in itself. But um I mean we'll we'll be ahead of Ferrari and Renault by like a, a very noticeable amount unless they upgrade. And we'll be challenging Red Bull with the minor one. That's unbelievable, that is. We'll be set for Monaco. Except I'm really, really bad at Monaco. But uh, apart from that, you know. Actually worked on much of the much of the aero of the car to be fair. So like that one, you know, we're going to be so good. I say we we need to sort of look at the chassis. 100% we need to look at the chassis. I mean, if if I can bring in that final weight reduction thing for I don't know Austria something, then yeah. Or perhaps if we all. So that is something to consider, actually. So, yeah, we could do a minor aero, and like that would be that would be good, wouldn't it? That would be that would be pretty good. But absolutely, don't like neglect the chassis because it's like really, really important. And if I did that, that would then open up two avenues for weight redistribution. It would it would so. Once I've done that, and then those two, it would be the equivalent of an ultimate weight redistribution upgrade. I mean, just, just look at it. And obviously don't forget about the engine, because we want our advantage to last. So, also, here's something. I'm convinced that fuel upgrades aren't working. Right, because I'm still gaining nothing in standard. I'm absolutely convinced of it. I think I think the ERS is working. I think. Although I wouldn't say it's like a huge, you know, difference. I don't know if it's meant to be, but there's no difference in terms of uh, in terms of fuel. the race. Also, that's that's where we're going to be. We're going to be possibly ahead of Red Bull. Wow. 
How how are you feeling? Um yeah. My plan is to try and go to the outside. Wait, no, because I'm starting in fourth. And actually, it might be higher if someone has penalties. I was going to say, if I try and go to the outside around the sort of snail section, people call it, then um, then I could sort of just go around the outside of everyone, I guess. We'll see. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience, and the flat, open to the elements location, tests their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing, and overtaking is available into turn one, and of course, down the kilometre-long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Can I get your take on Ferrari? We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs, but this is only the first step down a long road of development. And even if they don't maximize their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. It's time to see how our drivers are Watch stacking up after yesterday's Vettel exciting qualifying the session. The race, Lewis Hamilton lines up on cars. pole position and Valtteri Bottas and will line up strategy. alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have the Verstappen, the, the engineer, Charles Leclerc and Norris, Ricardo, Faber, and, Perez, and Pierre Gasly, yeah. Hulkenberg, Vettel, Devon Butler and Stroll, Albon, Sainz, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen. Russell and Robert Kubica takes the last spot Ooh, on the grid. The and now it's time to head yes. down to the track. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that Williams is still at the back. Like, in every series I've seen, they're always, like, mid-table, sometimes okay, at the front go. of the grid by season two. Do. Don't let me down. <whistles> uh. Yeah, thank you. Undercut or oh, undercut is going to be king. Is that that's personalised and personal away? There we go. Fucking hell. So my personalised is one second slower. Excellent. That's what we're going with. Happy days. Box lap 4 and lap 16. We're not seeing any technical issues coming off the practice start. Watch the RPM on a full start. We don't want to bog down. Have a, have a gander at temps. I think we we're pretty lucky to get fourth in quality. Like, let's let's be honest.
going to test my brakes one more time. Whoops. How how good was transfer deadline day? I mean, I, I say it like it was fucking amazing. It wasn't. It absolutely wasn't. It, I mean, it was it was good, I guess. But, the rest yeah. of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. Yeah, it's lights out and away we go.
Danny Rick's out. Shit. He has no luck. Oh my god. Char Charlie really wants to get past. Like, he really wants to get past. You know, you know when you really, really desperately want to get past. Yeah? That's Charlie now. Charlie the Clerk. not the best idea when you're, when you're driving in like when you're going forwards and you're driving That's a world record, in this right? strategy. and I'm not making that up. That is a world record, or would be a world record. Happen. Um, 
Chow seems to be holding everyone else up, so yeah. When it was me holding everyone else up, that's Gap Chow. to teammate ahead is 24.9 seconds. <laughs> so that's, that's good for me. Yeah, I could like sacrifice a bit of power on this bit. For, like the fuel in the RS save. Gap to car in front is 7.0 so like, seconds. Sector 1. Most of Sector 1. And actually most of Sector 2. And then, you know, that's what I'm fuel saving on. Yeah, I'm I'm now convinced that the fuel upgrades haven't worked. They've done absolutely nothing. And I'll be tweeting that later today. Thank you. Not not that anyone's really going to be watching, but, you know, if you know someone from Codemasters, if you don't, tell them, tweet them, at them, everything you want. Well, the Mercedes is in, as is the Stafford. The Stafford are getting the undercut on Norris. Anyone else going to box? Not yet. It looks like the staff was covering the Mercedes and simultaneously undercutting the other plus one That was just a bit shit, really. But um, I've caught up Carlos pretty well. Obviously, Max is uh, ahead of me. I struggle a bit with traction, I, I genuinely do. Oh, car tyre, nice. DRS, cheered on. I, I am gonna sort of rewind, purely so I just don't hit him, you know? There's gentlemen gentle sporting that. Lando in the pits. Bye, have a great time. Oh, fucking bollocks. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to worry about... Oh, is he, he going to smash into my bowl? I don't, I don't need to worry about that. He's not in my race. He can do what he wants. Oh, that's... Gasly. Wait. Gasly is in the pits. Yeah. He's really far down. I also went to a uh, the but hey. <laughs> oh, there's there's Lando. Fernando. Oh Christ, he's on the hearts. He's doing a one stop. Pierre Gasly, what's going on? Why was he so far down? Stay behind this car for long. We need to get past. Otherwise known as your teammate, 
thank you. Or may maybe a distant toe if I'm lucky. Head of Charles, that's that's good. That's a good thing. It actually was Stappen and I don't know, whichever whichever rate uh, not racing point, Red Bull. Red Bull is the word I wanted to say. going for it. Max is really fucking going for it. Georgie, Georgie, real Georgie, Georgie Brussels said. Whoa, Georgie, Georgie. Georgie, 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 Georgie Russell said. If I don't turn down the engine, then I'm better off. Fuck. I'm, I'm not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, too. 
one. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Yes. Smooth operator. That's how it goes. Smooth operator. It's going to become a, such a mini minute. I mean, Carlos Sainz already has actually his banner was so underrated in the last few years. But now, you know, everyone's been appreciated. What's happened to Gasly? Why is he so slow? So fucking bad. Probably just get out. Yeah. Cheerio, boys. Fucking hell. Maybe it wasn't worth it. How about how about that? For the I've, I've always known it because I've been overtaking people and it's, it says what position they're in but I've never been like actively consciously thinking about my current position on track just because I know it's it's not it's not like correct I don't think like it, it's not an accurate representation of where I'm gonna be at the end of the race I've lost my head I've lost my head
obviously he's got he's got like the vastly superior strategy. We're approaching the pit window. Awesome. You'll be on the mediums. As does Vettel and the Alfa Romeos, all of whom are going to be a threat this race to me and Lando and who knows maybe even Max. Except Max is ahead of them and on the uh, one stop as well. So I don't know, but definitely to me, undoubtedly. Because they, they can't have gone this far while starting on starting on half the softs. I mean in fact they probably should have pitted earlier. Because now they've like it's not it's not optimal in terms of tire wear. Would I be would I be better off if I'd finished one position in Q3? Q2, sorry. Um, possibly. Our gap to the car in front is 7.2 seconds. Fuck me. strategy. I was sort of just driving. That's mad. Pump. 
I if I keep to the left a bit, could I? You no. Know, I mean, I, I don't I don't want to, but you know, it'd be it'd be funny. <sighs> so, unfortunately, due to genuinely unforeseen circumstances, I'm gonna have to cut the stream short. But exit, exit now. Oh. At the end. Okay, oh. stay clear. Um. And now is where I'll do a mid-session save and call it a day. So, fingers crossed this works. <laughs> I really fucking hope it does. Um, so, cheerio guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Maybe. I mean, ugh. it's a bit of an anticlimax if I'm honest. But hey, maybe the most exciting part of the race is to come. Tune in tomorrow possibly or possibly later today depending on how kind I'm feeling to see how we finish the race I wasn't expecting this to happen but whoops unforeseen circumstances oh who'd, who'd be a taxi eh anyway cheerio guys see you soon for the final part of the race bye guys